Oh, she is tired this morning. Oh, Nelly. Good morning, everybody. It is 8 a.m. on Saturday morning. Today is my last proper day to get stuff done before my trip. I need to be fully packed and ready to go tomorrow, basically. So this is the part two to that holiday prep video. Today I am whitening my teeth, going and getting my LVL done. I'm getting my lash and my brows tinted. I've also got my last PT session this morning, which I'm so sad about. I've written Monica a little card and a thank you. And I'm also gonna pack with you today. Um, I need to pack my main bag, but I won't do that with you because to be honest, I'm gonna be so stressed. I'll pack my travel makeup bag with you. I'm gonna make it all fit into one makeup bag um, and then the stuff that doesn't fit is going in Laura's makeup bag because we're gonna share a lot of stuff. So yeah, this vlog is like the final days, day of prep. I don't actually leave for Colombia until Wednesday, early Wednesday morning, but Tim's graduation's on Tuesday. So we're going up to Leamington on Sunday, which gives me Monday to edit, but not to do like anything else. And then Tuesday is his graduation. Then I'm driving home straight after his graduation and then leaving for our 8 a.m. flight on Wednesday. Lots to do today. I've got PT in two hours, so I need to leave in an hour and 45 minutes. Then I'm getting my LVL done at 2.45. Me and Tim are meant to be going out for dinner in the cinema, but I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to. That's the goal. That's what I'd like to be able to do. It's our last evening together. Hi guys, I'm home. I'm home from the gym. That's the first step of my prep. I've gone to the gym. That was my last session. We just did like nice stretches and stuff. And I gave Monica her card to say thank you for being so amazing. It's now time for me to start prepping myself for this trip. So the first thing I'm gonna do myself is actually whiten my teeth. This portion of the vlog is sponsored by Wisdom. I have tried so many teeth whitening systems, um, but by far my favorite are strips because they're easy, they're not messy, and it means I can take them away with me. So this is what I'm gonna talk to you about today. These are the Wisdom Intense White Teeth whitening strips with activated charcoal. So this box is an express five day whitening system. So this claims to whiten your teeth um, up to six shades in five days. So if you've got your wedding or a trip like me, if you've got an event coming up, graduation, a birthday party, whatever, you can whiten your teeth every single day for just half an hour a day, every day up until you go, and your teeth will be super bright and super white. I actually have two boxes of these because I can do the full course before I leave, and then I'm also gonna take some with me so I can top up my white teeth while I'm away because this isn't gonna take up any room in my rucksack. <laughs> so these are available at Boots and they're enamel safe, so they're not gonna harm your enamel, which is a question I get asked a lot when I talk about my teeth. A lot of people ask me what teeth whitener I use and this is the one I have used in the past. So you're supposed to brush your teeth, which I just did. I'm gonna open the sachet. As you can see, these are a bit different. These are black because they actually have activated charcoal, which lifts stains from your teeth. So if you're someone like me who drinks a lot of tea, or recently I've been fueling my life off of black coffee. You guys have seen that I literally need rocket fuel in the morning to get me through the days right now. My teeth have been seeing the effects of that. So these are great for lifting up stubborn stains, which no one really wants. So you can see they are shaped like your mouth so that it covers your entire tooth. You wanna make sure your teeth are dry and, and then also on the bottom, and now I'm gonna leave these in for 30 minutes and I'm gonna do some work. <laughs> but they're super comfortable. I just have a bit of a lift. It's now half past 12. I'll take these off at one. I'm not gonna eat or drink anything for half an hour. Then I'll show you. Hello, it is half an hour later and these puppies are ready to come off. Ta-da! Don't they look whiter? That was my third day. So I have a couple of more days and then they will be so so white. So yeah, I'll link these down below if you're interested in doing some teeth whitening at home in an easy, safe, enamel safe way. My smile is very important to me and having nice pearly whites is very important to me. I thought I would talk through with you guys the makeup that I will be taking with me. I'm gonna be gone for six and a half weeks. We're planning on doing a lot of clubbing. I do wanna take some makeup and look a little bit glam, but obviously it's gonna be carried around in a rucksack on my back every day. So I've gotta be a little bit realistic, you know? Why have I gone bright pink? So this is the makeup bag I'm gonna take with me. This one's a little um, Space NK one. I like it cause it's flat 
and it's clear so I can see what I've got. Okay, for my skincare, I am going to take my Ola Hendrickson products, obviously. I'm going to take my Vitamin C Truth Serum. This is the brightening gel cream. I've just depotted it into a little pot. And then my mini Banana Bright eye cream. Skincare is essential, but I might put skincare in a separate bag. We'll see how we're doing for space. And you'll see I love mini makeup, like, a lot. Okay, for my SPF for my face, I'm going to take the mini La Roche-Posay SPF 50 Plus because it's really small. I'll take, obviously, loads of SPF, but, like, that can be just for my face. And then I'm going to want a prime. So I've got a radiant primer and then a super mattifying primer. So I'm going to take the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. Super, super small, super mattifying, which your girl is gonna need. And then I'm also gonna take the Becca First Light Priming Filter as well for the more glowy areas of my face. For some reason, I'm bright pink. Can you tell that my stress levels are like right up here right now? For my foundation, I'm gonna take my NARS Radiant Longwear. Um, I've depotted it into a little thing. I won't be wearing foundation a lot. I think it will just be like clubbing. So I'll take one of them. For concealer, I'm gonna take the tiniest NARS Radiance Concealer. Like this is the smallest little thing ever. So small and adorable. And then I'm obviously gonna take the Glossier Stretch Concealer. So that is the best concealer for the beach. I'm taking my mini sizes of all of my Benefit products. So Cabral, Gimme Brow and my 24 hour brow set. Mascara, I'm gonna take a mini Bad Girl Bang and a mini Damn Girl. These are my two favorite mascaras. For my eyeshadows, I'm just gonna take this. I picked up the Huda Beauty, I picked up the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions palette. It's pretty standard, really, really small. Then for bronzer, I'm taking obviously a mini Benefit Hula. I'm also taking this from Natasha Denona. It is the Bronze and Glow. It's a baby bronzer and a baby highlight, and these are both gorgeous. That's it compared to the Huda Beauty mini palettes. They're so small. The mini luminous bronze light from Hourglass as well, just for a little bit of like a glowy bronzer. For powder, I'm going to take my tiny little Laura Mercier. And then for my highlighters, I'm going to take my mini Becca Opal, because I can't go anywhere without Opal. And also Hustler Baby from Fenty. I'm not really going to wear a winged liner, but Laura might want to. So I'm going to take a mini roller liner. I'm taking a red and a nude. These are the Becca Ultimate Lip Definers in Vacation and Playful. I got these because they're technical liners, so you don't have to sharpen them. I'm going to take a red lip and a nude lip. So for my nude, I'm going to take Huda Interview because it's a little bit deeper and I'm going to be super tan. My red, I'm obviously going to take my NARS um, Power Matte Lip Pigment. For my blush, I'm taking my Mini California from Benefit. I'm taking my Ultra Sun SPF 30 Lip Balm. Very important. Have you ever burnt your lips? It sucks. I'm taking a Baby Gloss Balm. Laura wants to take this. This is Jeffree Star Strawberry Crush. It's a super nice, like, pink. A lot of this is being split between two makeup bags as well, so this bag is quite full now, but... A lot of this stuff's going into Laura's bag because we're like sharing our bronzers and lipsticks and stuff like that. So I've got a mini Urban Decay All Nighter and I've also put more in one of these for Laura as well. I'm going to take one pair of lashes. So I've got my Duo Lash Glue. There we go. Done. Sorted. Packed. Makeup is packed. Okay, guys, I'm heading out. I am going for my brows done and my lashes lifted and tinted. So here is my before. Okay, brows are tinted. They will fade a little bit. Obviously, they're super dark right now. Um, Guys, look at my lashes. They look outrageous. Oh my God, I just realized though, I'm not allowed to get my lashes wet for 24 hours and I'm going to see The Lion King tonight. I'm going to cry. Mm, okay, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'm literally going to have to be sat there with a tissue. Crap. I'm so happy. Okay, time to go home. Da -da 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 -da. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's uh, a little while later. Me and Tim just did a bit of work. He was we my did. helpful photographer for an hour or so. Um, now I'm taking a break from the insanity that has been life to go and see The Lion King. And as I said earlier, the fact that I've got LVLs done and I'm not allowed to get them wet for 24 hours, this is going to be a test of my strength. So it's pretty 
devoid of emotion, that film. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be really interesting. We've got a couple, we're going out for dinner afterwards because tomorrow's the 10K. I've been encouraged to eat pizza. Yeah. yeah. So carb loading is my new favorite thing. Basically just how I ate before. <laughs> Constantly carb loading for life. <laughs> I need a lot of yeah, energy. You never, to get you might, through. you could have had to run a Tokyo any minute. Yeah. <laughs> back in the day. So I would have been able to if you'd asked yeah. me to. You've been stored up, you've been ready. <laughs> Try and stop me from running a 10k. So we're going to Pizza Express and I am outrageously hungry. I've been a little bit too busy today that I've basically not eaten anything. So I'm super, super hungry and so excited for this film. I could probably cry. Not that I will. I messed up. <laughs> I forgot to film dinner. Did the old rookie error of telling you I was gonna go and do something and then doing it and not showing you and my eyebrows look completely insane. But we're walking back to the car now and instead of getting dessert, we're gonna go home, watch an episode of RuPaul, eat a jelly. I want a cup of tea. The film, really good. I really enjoyed it. Elements of it, I was like, but most of it I was like hmm I think when you're when you're do, redoing something as un, as untouchable as Lion King it's yeah. pretty uh, it's pretty hard to hit every single mark I would agree and like some of the casting for me was perfect and some of it I was just a bit like not into but I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it yeah, it was, worth it was good like it was worth going to it made me happy it didn't really make me cry but that's okay. I wasn't allowed to get my lashes wet anyway. That's the ideal that I think. Why did we go this way? I don't know. It's just scenic, isn't it? <laughs> scenic, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look. Beautiful. <laughs> Feeling nice and fueled for the 10K in the morning. <laughs> Help me.